time for your top 10. Number 10, Yelp. The, the uh, review's website is trading flat right now ahead of its second quarter results due out after the market closed. Wall Street forecasting a four cent loss versus three cent loss a year ago. Sales are seen rising 63% to $53 million. We'll be bringing you Yelp's results just as soon as they cross the wire. Air Products. Shares are up about 3% today. On news, Bill Ackman's Pershing Square has taken a 9.8% stake in the industrial gas producer. This move signaling Ackman plans to push for change at the company. All right, moving on to number eight. It's MasterCard climbing 12% after the company reported a 19% increase in its second quarter profit, beating analyst estimates. MasterCard says more people worldwide used its debit and credit cards to make payments. And number seven, SodaStream, up nearly 12%, rallying the most in 14 months after boosting its revenue outlook for 2013. The maker of home soda machines also reported second quarter net income jumped 36%. This was boosted by strong demand fueled by its launch at Walmart. And Diageo up 3%, even though the maker of Johnny Walker Scotch and Smirnoff Vodka reported full year sales growth at a slower pace than last year. Perhaps that's because everyone's buying Dan Aykroyd's vodka instead. Diageo says it sees some, quote, soft spots in emerging markets as it tries to dominate faster growing economies to offset stagnant growth in Europe. Number five, Dell down almost 2% as the battle for the PC maker continues. According to a person familiar with the matter, the buyout group led by Michael Dell and Silver Lake is unlikely to pursue its sweetened bid of $13.75 a share. So uh, I was going to say the saga continues, but maybe, maybe it doesn't. Well, it would be curious, wouldn't it, if, uh, if in effect it just stopped and, uh, you know, well, it, it didn't get uh, any more heated. Yeah, let me just share with you uh, right here, just crossing the wires here, uh, Carl Icahn and Southeastern Asset Management issued an open letter to stockholders um, basically saying that they're pleased that the special committee heeded their advice. Uh, again, this just crossing. Uh, and they would like to, to make sure, of course, that this vote indeed happens on Friday. They say, again, to be very clear, take the vote on Friday, be, quote, at peace with the outcome, immediately set the record date for the annual meeting and give stockholders the choice they deserve after all these months of uncertainty. The idea being that if this deal gets turned down, you then have an annual meeting and perhaps they'll pick up Carl's deal. And they have to. They have to have an annual meeting, I think. with have to have Yes, you have to. Weeks. And they haven't. So uh, we'll, we'll keep watching it. Number four, guys, is CBS gaining 1% right now as the media company prepares to release its second quarter results after the bell. Analysts surveyed by Bloomberg are looking for EPS of 72 cents on revenues of $3.5 billion. Stay tuned for those results. They are happening moments away. We'll bring them to you. At number three, Whole Foods also reporting earnings after the bell. Shares are down slightly right now. The company's third quarter results should give a glimpse of how the high-end grocery business is faring. Full coverage and instant analysis of all those after-hours earnings coming right up. Number two is Comcast, up nearly 6%, rising the most in five months after the cable provider reported profit at top estimates. And despite the typically slow summer season, Comcast attracted more subscribers to its TV, phone, and internet package. All right, let's get to our number one stock of the day, Facebook. Facebook right now down more than 2%. Earlier, the stock rose above its $38 IPO price for the first time since its debut trading day. Facebook's 14-month comeback fueled by surging demand for mobile ads as more users access the network, networking site on their smartphones and on their tablets. We're here at the close of trading today on a day when the Fed indicated it was very concerned about the lack of inflation in the economy and struck a very dovish tone. We had the market really all over the place. Uh, it had been down earlier in the session, then up better than 70 points uh, on that Fed news. And now you can see ending the day uh, in the red, at least on the Dow.